I got this magazine extension for my 870 Express, and I'm gonna show you how to put it in. Uh, I got it off of uh, Midway.com, and apparently, I it, it I can't remember if it showed me what the brand was or not, but I, I I can remember it wasn't definitely wasn't a Wilson Combat, but that's what I got in the mail. So if you want to order one, that's the that's the phone number and. Uh, I don't know what the order number is on, but I got it off of Midway. It was about forty-five bucks. <clears throat> show you what it what it looks like. Of course, you've got the got the return spring. Yeah, do that later. But uh, here's what it looks like. It's uh, it's parkerized. It's it's not exactly the same parkerization as my eight seventy, but it's close enough. And it's a a two two round extension. Um. Says Scatter Gun Technologies Inc., Berryville, Arkansas. Uh, I'll try to take a close up picture. This is uh, made in the USA, so if you're going to buy one, I highly recommend buying one of these. Of course, I haven't tried it out yet, but um, you'll find out by the end of the video. <clears throat> now, first things first, you got to take the original cap off. And then, with the newer 870s, from what I was told, uh, it's not on the older 870s, but inside the magazine well, there's uh, there's two little two little nubs. Now you can you can see my socket doesn't go in all the way. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this socket to knock out. There's there's two dimples, and I'll I'll take I'll take a picture of that. So let me stop the video and take a picture of that, and then we'll continue on. That's the outside of the little dent that they put to uh, retain this little uh, end cap, whatever that thing is. And then here's the here's one on top up there. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to tap those back out. If that doesn't work, then it's Mr. Dremel. And then if I can't get it out with the Dremel, then uh, I'll have to drill those things out. Uh, by the way, I did mention I do know that to get this out. Um, what you do is you you get some kind of straight slot and you push push that little carrier in, turn it 90, and it will come out. But the reason why I'm putting it in there is to know when I've removed or when I've pushed those those little indentions out far enough. So uh, back to work. Well, I try to be nice and gentle with it with the uh, hammer and socket, but that's not going to work. So. Here comes Mr. Rotary Tool. Now, this is a, a great neck rotary tool I got from uh, my local auto parts store for, I think it was like 20 bucks. I couldn't believe it. And then chances are it probably came from China. I can't not find any markings on it that said China, but China. But here's a $50 Dremel that I bought from a Lowe's. And it is, come on, stupid camera made in Mexico. Can you see that? In Mexico City. So, I don't even know if you can buy anything, any Dremel or rotary tool made in the U.S., but whatever. Uh, Alright, I'm going to hook this bad boy up and go to town. If you don't already know, the reason why you have to remove or or reduce the the blockage from those things is your your standard shell will not go through the tube so with your magazine extension you're still stuck at whatever your capacity is before the magazine extension because the uh, the diameter of the uh, shell casing is bigger than those two little notches now uh, I'm thinking they put those there mainly for the the uh, follower um, but uh, to me, it's just a big pain in the butt. I don't know why they would do that. They didn't have them on the old models, why they chose to do that. I don't know if it has to do with legal reasons or what, but it's uh, just a big pain in the butt to me. So I'm um, keep working on it. All right. I got it down to where I can get the shell casing, but you can see in there. Let me see if you can see the light. See where I ground down on it? That little square pad there. 
Um, there's one like it on the other side. There. But, um, see now I can get the shell casing to pass through there, but the problem is you can, it's still, it's still kind of, kind of sticky, so I got to take it down some more. Right there, I, I, I might get some anodizing, um, to, uh, to give it some cor uh, corrosion preventive, or maybe some, some gun blue, just to, uh, just to do as much as I can to give it some corrosion prevention, but yeah, that's all there is to that. I'm going to go ahead and slap it together, but you see the uh, shell casing goes in there real nice now. And by the way, this is a <laughs> this is my poor man's dummy round. What I did was I took some some old uh, shot shells and just recrimped the head there, and that way I can dry fire practice and whatnot and load the weapon without using live ammunition so yeah that's that's my poor man way all right let me click get cleaned up and i'll uh put it together and let you see what it looks like okay what i learned uh and again this is a a trial and error process and learning a little bit every day but this is the original uh, remington follower you can see it's it's hollow so there's only about I don't know that much material uh, once the spring is in there um, to push against the the rounds and you can see the the aftermarket plug has this much space so you're losing that much more space in your magazine tube so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this out and I'm just gonna go with the original uh, orange follower face in the magazine tube and I found that uh, with the, this plug, the way that the length I've trimmed the new spring, I can only get six and and maybe part of uh, most of a seventh one round in the in the magazine. But with this, I can get all seven in the magazine. Now, before you start screaming at the screen again, no, I do not plan to leave seven rounds in in the magazine. Uh, I'll probably leave five in the magazine. And, uh, for home defense and then if I ever go hunting or something like that uh, I know that I can get two more um, two more slugs in there if I needed to now again uh, this is this is a slug barrel so chances are they're gonna be either two and three quarter or three inch slug so uh, that's gonna not give me seven rounds but it, it will give me that that spring relief so uh, I'm, I'm gonna put it back together with this and Put some live rounds through there to show you that it will hold seven rounds nicely.